If you have an electric fence, I'm sure at one point or another, you've had the task of tracking down an issue on your fence line. These issues, whether you call them grounds, shorts, or faults, are usually found with the energizer, your lead out wire, or on the fence itself. Maintaining your fence, whether that's weed whacking or mowing, it takes time and it takes energy. It's a lot easier to just assume that there's an issue with your energizer unit. In this video, we'll show you a quick and easy way to test your energizer to determine if it's in proper working order and how to troubleshoot the rest of your fence if you still have an issue. We're going to use our fence tester to get our initial reading on the fence line. You can check out our other video where we walk you through all the different models of fence testers and fault finders out there to find the right one for you. We're gonna use this model right here just to know what we're starting with on the fence line. So our reading is below two kilovolts, which tells us there's definitely an issue on the fence line that we need to address. So first off, what we wanna do is turn the energizer off. Whether you have a solar all-in-one unit like this, it may look like just turning the knob. If you have a mains plug-in, you can just unplug, or if you have a remote controlled one, you can use your remote as well. Our next step for testing our energizer, we want to eliminate any variables here with this lead out wire. So while the energizer is turned off, we're going to disconnect the positive lead out wire from the energizer at the positive terminal. So once we have the hot lead out wire disconnected at the terminal, we can turn the energizer unit back on. Just give it a second to get back in its normal rhythm. And now what we have is a fully grounded energizer under no load or no working power for the fence. We can get a true accurate reading on just the energizer itself. So when I come back here to the positive terminal, I'm gonna use my fence tester, put this right on the positive terminal. This will give us a reading on the energizer itself. So we're reading 9.0, that's really high, that's really strong, it's a great signal for an energizer. So what we're looking for here is a reading of seven kilovolts or greater. That would indicate that the energizer is working properly. If you get a reading below seven kilovolts, it's indicating that the unit probably needs repaired and potentially replaced. If you call into Kenco, we can help direct you to an authorized repair center to take care of your energizer for you. All right, so in this case, we've ruled out the energizer as the issue on our fence line. Next, we can move along with our troubleshooting to test our lead out wire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the energizer off and reconnect our lead out wire. So right back here in the positive terminal, we're just gonna hook everything back up. And while the energizer is off, disconnect the lead out wire from the fence, whether this is an alligator clip or a split bolt holding coated wire on high tensile wire, whatever that looks like, just disconnect that junction. And now when we turn the energizer back on, we'll be powering the unit, we're still grounded, and the only load that we have on this energizer is the length of our lead out wire. So when we make contact with our fence tester to the metal on this alligator clip, we'll get a good reading here. We're seeing 8.8 high eights, so that's basically the same reading we were getting on the energizer itself. That tells us there's not an issue with this lead out wire, it's not nicked, it's not making contact with our T-post or our ground rods, the issue is not with our lead out wire. And another thing to consider too, you might wanna test this in the position that it's in when it's on the fence line, just to make sure this is its natural position, if it's contacting anything or it's got a fray in it that it should not, we're still good, 8.8. .8. So the lead out wire is okay. So in our troubleshooting so far, we've ruled out the energizer, the lead out wire. So we know that the issue is on our fence somewhere. So in this case, we would use our fence tester with our fault finder mode to just take multiple readings as we move along the fence, use the fault finder indicator arrows to direct us to the direction of the fault. So on our lap around the fence using our fault finder, we came across this post here. We have an insulator snapped off, the tape is making contact up against the T-post and the branch came down on the tape itself. We have had a few storms here recently, so we're losing branches as we go. So this is definitely our issue on the fence line. We have the energizer turned off. We'll go ahead and replace this insulator. We'll fire the energizer back up and get another reading on our fence after the fix. There we go.
We replaced the insulator, removed the branch, and now we have the energizer turned back on so we can get a new reading to see where we're at now on the fence. We're just above seven kilovolts, so that's a good effective reading for our fence. That was our issue and we are good to go. You can find a variety of energizers, fence testers, and fault finders at kencove.com, as well as other helpful videos on our YouTube channel. And if there are any fencing related questions or topics you'd like us to cover in our videos, please leave your suggestions in the comments below. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice.